Welcome back guys, we're back again with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over the importance of using multiple IPs for your private blog networks. So for any of you that are just starting with private blog networks or PBNs as they're also known, this is going to be something that you need to know really from the beginning and you need to start implementing straight away because otherwise it's a bit harder to backtrack and the damage might already have been done. So first of all let me explain what a footprint is. Now a footprint for a PBN is you basically leaving breadcrumbs behind saying I was the same entity that controls all of these sites that are linking to each other. Now Google isn't going to like that it has got algorithms to stop PBNs working like that um, and it will basically shut down your PBN if it does find it out. You'll do this by basically scoring it really badly uh, you'll get much less traffic you'll see straight away from your insights and the domain is really much useless it can be, be built back up again but it would take some more time so for this reason we don't like to leave footprints behind we want to make everything different um, and for that reason we use multiple IPs now here at Seekerhost we do offer multiple IP blog hosting um, it starts as little as 95p per blog the more blogs that you get um, the cheaper it gets per blog and of course every blog is hosted on a unique IP this so because of this it's not going to look like this is just one entity um, using the same IP like when you use just a normal WordPress site you might have a package with 10 words WordPress sites on there however they're all going to be hosted with the same IP so um, that's why we use multiple IPs not only this with Seeker Host you're going to get different name servers as well so for instance if I've got www.jdog.com um, mine's going to be ns1.www.jdog.com etc they're all going to be different it's not going to be matching the same name server or IP so as I said at the start it's extremely important that you're not leaving a footprint behind of course using a separate IP um, it's going to stop a lot of apps. It's not going to look like the same entity. The servers are hosted all around the world with Seeker Host, so again, it's not just going to be looking like it's coming from one exact place. You are able to hide your who is um, if you want to add the security option when you buy a package. And that's why Seeker Host is one of the best PBN hosting sites. Of course, other things include um, using a different email. Uh, using different plugins, make sure that your theme's different and the sites don't all look exactly the same. And other little bits like, you know, creating great content on there and stuff like that. We've got lots of videos on that um, if you want to find that sort of subject and find out how you can build up your PBN, maybe how you can use expired domains and all that sort of good stuff that you're going to want to know. Now, as I said earlier, with WordPress sites, because as you're going to see with Seekerhost, I'll pop it up on the screen now. You can get the choice between PBN blogs or WordPress sites. Now, with a WordPress site, like I said, you're going to get um, the same IP throughout your whole network, which means if you're going to be linked to each other it means that search engines will basically be able to tell much easily that you are the same person running all of these sites it's all coming from the same IP the same name server so it's fairly easy to spot that you are running a PBN um, then score your PBN worse which pretty much again renders it useless for any out, any backlinks that you're going to be putting out there so that's why it's really important to have uh, unique IPs the actual process of linking your domain to your PBN blog using the unique IP um, is pretty much exactly the same as starting any other WordPress package it just involves two extra steps if you're not sure how to do it I'll leave a link popping up on the screen right now um, and that will show you how you can change your name servers and private name servers and your blog IP as well so if you've got any more questions um, on what a PBN is uh, why you need multiple IPs how you can get started or anything like that leave it in the comment section if not I'll be leaving a link with all the helpful links um, for our video guides on PBNs and stuff like that um, all in the description so if you do want to just go down there check them out and thanks for watching and um, we'll catch you again on the next tutorial Bye-bye.